Hey guys, today we're going to see if we can't fix the battery in my 67 Porsche. It's three and a half years old and right now these batteries are like 175 bucks a piece and I'd rather put that change someplace else. I'm going to see if I can restore this battery to at least near new condition for about five dollars. So uh, let's get into this project and see if we can do it. Alright, let's take a look what we got. Let's see where our voltage is for this battery. All right, so we're registering about 11.5 on this battery. Let's see, we're gonna pull it out and see if we can't start the process to uh, rejuvenate it. All right guys, so we have our battery out. Here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need some Epsom salts, about 16 ounces worth, it's a buck, two gallons of distilled water, that's a dollar each. And uh, baking soda, box of that, 16 ounces or whatever, about a dollar for that. So there's four bucks, under five dollars. Let's see if we can't uh, use these things to make this battery uh, live another couple of years. All right guys, uh, first thing, make sure you have uh, protection on with this glass and finger protection. Go ahead and just pop the caps off that battery real quick. Make them, move them off to the side right here so you can look down into those plates. See what we got going on here. All right, with those off and out of the way, let's take a look and see what we have down inside here. Kind of a close up here. You're gonna see that uh, acid, that water mixture down there in those plates. And they're, they're a little low, but uh, for the most part, they've been doing their job for three and a half years. So uh, let's get this out and uh, let's, um, have some fun. Remember, gloves, people. Wear gloves. Here we go. Just going to dump it out. Turn this upside down here. And let it finish draining. While uh, we go take in a uh, beverage or something. Maybe make yourself a sandwich or something. Alright, let's give that a little bit of time. We'll come back to it. Okay, so we've drained this pretty good. Give us a rag here. Kind of wipe it down. Next, we need to mix up this solution here. And this solution here is going to clean inside the battery. There's some metal plates which you sort of can see down in there you may not but let's mix this up now all right let's go ahead and get open our box of uh baking soda here get this opened up real quick and uh, get our gallon of water let's open it up get you a bucket to pour uh, all this into that you can mix go ahead and pour your water in get it over here much better we'll go ahead and empty this into the bucket uh just a gallon and most batteries will take a gallon or less. So like our little battery here, I'm actually going to have a bunch left over in that small little Porsche battery. But if you have a full-size battery per se in your vehicle, you'll probably use all of this one gallon. Next, go ahead and take your baking soda, pour it in there. Whoa, I have the cooler on. It's uh, middle of summer in Phoenix, Arizona, 111 degrees today. So let's go ahead and let's get that baking soda in there and toss that out. Get you a stick or a stir and go to town mixing up that baking soda. You want to make sure it's all dissolved into that water before we pour it back into the battery to clean those metal plates to uh, give us the best opportunity we can to uh, recharging this car battery. All right. Next, make sure we have one more little swirl. Get you a funnel. Grab one of those. And we're just going to fill it back up so we can pour it just a little bit easier out of this bucket back into our uh, gallon container. And here we go. Fill it back up. All right. Take that uh, off to the side. And let's go ahead and just about a little bit there. Give yourself some room. Put the cap on. And then clean up our work spot real quick. Okay, we'll pull this battery over here in a minute. Gonna dry this off. 
shake it up real good. You want to make sure the solution of the distilled water and the baking soda is completely mixed together really well when you go to pour it into the batter here. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Good, good, good. All right, now take that funnel and we're just going to fill up each one of the holes to almost the very top of each hole. So go ahead and just take your time, give it a shake every now and then, make sure it's all really well mixed together. Pop that again, safety glasses and gloves guys when you're doing this, and just take your time and start filling up each one of those holes all the way to the top. And if you do overfill, it's okay. Go ahead and clean it up. It's not gonna be that much trouble. Just take your time and make sure you fill up each and every one of those cells inside your battery. Get it in there, and you're going to see it bubbling. It is cleaning up those plates, those lead plates inside your battery. So make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and you have plenty of workspace and shop towels to clean up. Give it a shake every now and then just to kind of get it in there and dislodge any air bubbles. Make sure it's doing its job of cleaning out everything. Go ahead and refill if you need to. And I usually uh, come back, you know, about every 30, you know, five minutes in a 30 minute window and just kind of shake it up and get it together. So let's go ahead and pour it out and see what we got. Here we go. We're going to pour out the cleaning solution of the baking soda and the distilled water. And we'll let that drain. All right, so in the kitchen, get yourself a big pot, enough that will hold that gallon of distilled water. We'll go ahead and fill this pot up real quick here. Get it in. Make sure to do this when your wife's at work or out of the house. Trust me. Whenever a guy starts cooking, the wife usually gets a little concerned. All right, fill this up. You have been warned. All right, good, good. Let's go ahead and get this boiling. Turn it all the way up here. And uh, now, another beverage and um, we'll let it wait and boil and it's boiling it's getting there not quite there yet but a little more all right here we go we got some boiling action going on it's a roiling rolling bubble as they say we're going to get our package of epsom salts and we're just going to go ahead and pour all that in real quick here and again, just like before, we want to make sure that all the Epsom salt gets dissolved into our distilled water. And by boiling it, we're going to help that process happen. Give it a stir and just let it keep boiling until you have completely dissolved all the Epsom salt into the uh, gallon of distilled water. And then turn off the heat and uh, let it cool down because, again, it's 212 plus degrees of uh, boiling water. Let it cool down, let it come to room temperature before we move on to our next step. All right, guys, before we pour this solution into the battery, I kind of give you a close-up of what's down there, if I can. You can see the, that black. Those are those iron, uh, lead plates that when you put in this Epsom salt solution and you charge it up, it's going to hold the charge uh, that we're doing. So just kind of give an idea if you've uh, never had a chance to look in there. That's what it is, just in case if you decide not to do this step and just go out and buy a new battery, this gives you an idea of what is down inside your car battery. All right, let's uh, get to fill this thing back up with that Epsom salt and uh, distilled water solution. Just like before, take your funnel, go through and just start filling up each one of those holes. And again, you don't want to overflow, but if you do, you can clean that up with a rag and uh, just clean things up as you go along. This is when it's gonna kinda messy. And again, wear gloves on this guy as an eye protection. You never know if a splash could possibly hit you in the face. And you're gonna start to see things bubble. I usually keep the caps off the battery for about 24 hours and then put them back on. So here we are. All right, it has been charging for about seven or eight hours. You can see it's still doing its thing. Kind of get a look there at the uh, 
we had some overflow, some spillage. Every now and then you can see it bubble up. Let's uh, take our volt meter and just kind of see where we're at. We're going to put it on the 200 right there. Let's put this one on there. Then we'll put this black one on. And 13.5 is what it's charging at right now. So we'll let this charge overnight in the morning. We'll check on it and we'll see where it's at. And then we'll take the connectors off, turn that off, and we'll see how much it's going to hold. All right, guys, we have uh, taken it off the charger. It sat on the charger for two days, 40 hours um, of charging. And so it says it's ready to go. Now, I do want to make one little note. Um, in the first part of the video, I used one 16 ounce bag of Epsom salt for an entire gallon of distilled water. Um, the first time I did it, it would not work. So when I went back and I did a liter, two liters basically, and I put um, about eight to nine ounces of Epsom salt per liter. Um, and then when I did that, it seemed to work better. At least it, it you know, seemed to go with charge and not give me a, a bad battery on the charger so with that being said let me hook up the leads and we're going to see after sitting for a couple hours what the voltage is in the battery as of right now so hold tight three so put that on there about 12 5 6 it was flickering a little bit ago so not quite the full 12.6 we need but maybe some more time on the charger it would uh eventually hold off so you know five bucks or so and a couple days work to save 150 bucks sure maybe um but you know we'll see i'm gonna put this in the car i'll do a uh, update on this in a couple weeks or so and see if it's still working all right guys thank you so much for uh checking out this video if you liked it check out my other videos on uh, diy car stuff and of course rebuilding of the porsche and the pontiac firebird Thanks so much, guys. Bye.